The Sri Lankan Supreme Court in its determination on the Inland Revenue Amendment Bill notes that banks, primary dealers and other corporations are already paying income taxes at the rate of 30%. It added that what is envisaged in this bill is the EPF and ETF would have to pay an income tax of 30% or in the alternative they are given an incentive or concession where they will only be paying 14% if they opt for the domestic debt optimization as proposed. The Supreme Court notes that granting incentives, concessions for the survival and revival of the country's economy is clearly a reasonable exercise of the executive policy as endorsed by the legislature. It added that there is institutional incapacity in the courts to reassess and reappraise the above policy decisions in the event evidence to the contrary is unavailable. In the circumstances, the court perceives a rationale underlying the differentiation that this court is not irresistibly driven to the conclusion that the policy is manifestly unreasonable. The Supreme Court says that in the circumstances, the parliament which has full control of public finance in terms of Article 148 of the Constitution is at liberty to make reasonable classification. The Supreme Court noted that the focus of inquiry in the proceedings is the consistency of the provisions in the impugned bill with the Constitution. In the FR application, there was no such inquiry which is sui generis or unique to invocation of jurisdiction under Article 121 of the Constitution.